Okay. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Happy Monday. Welcome. Um, oh, yeah, Whitney. <laughs> what time is it there, Whitney? You're like the middle of the night. Um, <clears throat> she's in Germany. Okay. So, anyway, hi, guys. Happy Monday. So, I have a few people tonight that are going to be kind of chatting, um, kind of just giving like our their best tips, um, either on signing distributors or signing customers. Um, just your best tips, um, kind of let us know like what you've been doing or even if someone's already said it, honestly, I want you guys to repeat it because I feel like we need to hear things over and over and over again in order for them to stick. So even if like one person goes and the next person's like, that's exactly what I was going to say. Cool. I want you to say it all over again. Um, and I'm not trying to be like, you know, redundant here, but I think sometimes we don't realize that this business is so simple and I think we totally overcomplicate it. And so tonight when everyone talks and they tell you how simple it is and one of the simple things that they're doing for their businesses to make this happen um, and to be rock stars, you're going to be like, okay, I can totally do this too. So um, I'm going to start off with, um, I'm going to have Jill go first because I know that she's not that nervous and um, she'll She'll rock it out. So Jill, just give us, give us your tips, whatever you got, throw it at us. I uh, just want to make it known. I still get very nervous, even though that I could talk anyone's ear off, but I still get nervous. <laughs> so we were doing a, a live event the other day and they're like, but you don't get nervous. I'm like, are you kidding me? Yes, I do. But I just, I don't ever stop talking. So it's just, it makes it a little bit easier. <laughs> um, okay. So when you were at, when you asked me like okay like share some of your tips I was really trying to think back and think about all the things that I do on a daily basis and so I went to my notebook or my planner and this is where like I make a list every single day for myself um, the things that I need to get done before I get to bed and like close my eyes and fall asleep and these are like non-negotiables for me these are things that like I I do not fall asleep until I get these things done and so. I was going through and, and I noticed, and, and like you just said, like almost every single day, I have the same tasks over and over and over and over again, because it's that consistency. So like that first tip that I'm going to give you all is consistency, because when you are constantly doing something over and over and over and over and over again, people see it. People realize that like, you're here, you're not going anywhere. This is what, this is real life. Um, and it's not something that like is quick fix and you're gone. Like it's something that you are continuously working at. Um, little side story. I have been living in this house for three years now and I've had my car magnet on my car on two different cars for three years. And my neighbor just, uh, on Saturday or, or Friday, I forget which day it was. I think it was Friday just came over to me and said, Hey, do you still, he called it a belt. He said, do you still have those belt things? I said, what? And he said, you know, the thing that was on your car, like why your magnet's gone. And I was like, Oh yeah, I do. And I like told him more about it. And he was like, okay, yeah, my wife is really interested. I have had that on the side of my car where, where I live in a townhouse. So they're right near where the car, where the magnet sits. I've had that on my car for three years, three years. And now they're saying something to me because they're like, dang, this girl's been having had this on for three years. This must be legit. So that consistency part is so important. So, so I'm going to give you just like a list of things that I do. Um, I journal. I try. I was just saying today, I, I got into a little bit of funk, but I try and journal every single day, um, writing five things that I'm grateful for. So starting my day off with a grateful heart, grateful mind, um, writing 10 goals of, as if they've already happened. So I'm manifesting those dreams. Um, and then focusing on one thing that day. What is that one thing that I need to accomplish that day, no matter what, whether it's drinking all my water that day, whether it's making sure that I reach out to 20 people, whether it's going to the gym, whether it's reading a book, whatever it is, I'm focused on that one goal for sure that day. Um, so that's my journal that I do. Um, I try and message at least 30 new people every single day. Um, I'll get back to that. I either follow on Instagram or unfollow. I've actually gone back to um, not using Captivate at all anymore and just manually following. And I swear to God, I have been trying to get to 6,000 followers for the last like three months 
And by doing, doing it manually, I got to 6,000 the other day. So I'm, I think I'm just going to stay back to that um, because that's been working for me because I feel like I'm actually seeing who I'm following. I'm actually like going to people's pages and seeing that their followers are active because they're, they had just liked this recent post of theirs. And so I feel like that's been working for me. Um, I can go over that if anyone doesn't understand what I mean by that. Um, the other thing that I try and do every single day, if not like three to five times a week is go live on social media. Um, when I get home from work, when I'm making my coffee in the morning, I mean, I literally go live about the same things over and over and over. Like people could probably memorize by now what I say in my live videos, but there are new people hopping on every day. Um, I literally got stopped in the store the other day saying that they watched my live video don't even know who this lady is she was friends with my dad and she told me that she watched my live videos and loved them i'm like great my dad told me look at what you're doing with your blog there i'm like dad's facebook it's not a blog but okay <laughs> like, he he was just like oh my god she told me that she ran into you and i'm like yeah um so i try and go live on facebook um instagram i don't go as li live as much but i'm definitely focusing on the stories <laughs> yeah i'm definitely focused on the stories um and then I say happy birthday to each person um, whose birthday it is. I don't write on their Facebook wall, but I make sure that I send them a message just saying happy birthday, their name. I hope your day is amazing as you are. That literally like touches people that, that makes them feel like I know who they are. They're special to me. And they are. Every single person that is in my life is special to me in some way or the other. And so making that connection, um, even just on their birthday, it just makes it makes it so much easier for you to then go back in and, and have a conversation with them later. Or if there's someone that you reached out to and they haven't answered you, that birthday message, they're gonna get that notification and be like, oh my God, I never answered her. Look, this girl's so nice. She's saying happy birthday to me. I'm gonna answer that message. Like the amount of times that that's happened is that's crazy. And then I'm adding people to my Facebook every single day. And then um, I try and follow up every single day. Sometimes it's every other day, depending on what the situation is. Um, and then I thrive on like interaction with like people on our team, um, whether it's doing Zooms, whether it's being in a chat with someone, whether it's just being like, hey, does this message sound okay? Like I really need that as um, just as a person, I don't know. I need to make sure um, that I'm staying close to the fire is what it is and making sure that I'm staying with people that, um, want this as well as I do because it's, it's all a mindset thing where, you know, when you're surrounding yourself with people that want this and people that are doing this and people that know how you feel and like knowing you trust, um, it just motivates you even more to keep going on the hard days. Um, so like I said, daily things that I do every day. And then the number one thing is making sure that I'm doing some sort of self-development. I know we talk about this nonstop. And I know that it comes out of my mouth nonstop. Um, but I swear to you, my business has changed in this last year. So freaking much because of self-development. Um, I've changed just, I've grown my, my brain has grown so much. Um, and like my life has grown so much and I've been able to like keep up with it through self-development, whether it's listening to a YouTube video, whether it's listening to a podcast, whether it's listening to an audio book, I'm, I like to listen to things versus actually reading it. Um, but that is the way that I make sure that I'm, I'm fueling my brain with the right stuff so that when something negative happens, I know how to, I, I, I think about, instead of reacting to it, I think about it and I respond to it instead of reacting to it because, um, you know, Hearing the word no is never easy, no matter how much self-development you do. Hearing the word no is never easy, but when you have that self-development part in your brain, um, it makes it, it makes it a little bit easier and it makes you realize that, you know, it, it, it's not you. It's not you that they're saying no to. There's something else. There's something more. And so, but in the beginning when I wasn't doing self-development, I would take it to heart and I didn't understand it. And so learning how to um, incorporate that into I mean, when I'm driving or when I'm in the shower, uh, if you know me, you know that I bring my phone in the shower and, and do work in the shower. It doesn't matter. I just am constantly listening to something so that my brain's absorbing all that good stuff. Um, intentional time. I, I work full time um, and I work an hour away. So I'm in the car for two hours every single day. 
um, Monday through Friday. And so, you know, it's not like I get to work and then I'm back home real fast. Like I leave my house at six o'clock in the morning and I sometimes don't get home till five o'clock, four o'clock, depending on the day. And so making sure that I'm just really using the time that I do have. Um, and that's where the list comes into, into play. Um, I was talking to Jackie today and she said, you know, I don't, I don't scroll my Facebook feed anymore. I feel like oftentimes we think, okay, if I'm scrolling my Facebook feed, I'm working, but you need, that's where the, like I said, the list comes into play because if I look at this list and nothing is checked off at the end of the day, I'm not doing anything because I'm not being intentional with that time. And so I really took that today and was like, dang, like I really shouldn't be looking at my feed at all, except for like setting a timer for 10 minutes and going on that feed and commenting on it. And then that's it. That's it. And then like looking at people's profiles. Yes. Before I message them, but that's it. I'm not scrolling my feed because that takes away from your attentional timing. And all of a sudden it's three hours late and you think that you got a ton of work done. You got nothing done. Um, and then I wrote, I just wrote this down. So Ashley Mayfield always says like, every time I choose to stop, I disqualify myself. I think that's the quote that she has or something along those lines. And the way that I take that is as soon as you start to doubt yourself, you're counting yourself out. Um, and there has been many times throughout this business where I have completely been like, I can't do this. I don't know what I'm doing. I, I don't, I don't know what to do. And that is when I start, that's where that fear creeps in. That's where that doubt creeps in. And you just automatically count yourself out in that moment. But that's where self-development comes in. And you need to make sure that when, as soon as you feel that, you need to reach out to someone, you need to put on a podcast, you need to listen to an audio book and fuel your brain with the right stuff because then you can get back to working, you can get back to helping other people. That's what we do in this business. We help other people, um, whether it's with the products or with the, the, with the business. Um, I, just, I just really want you guys to know that like, it all, it's all, what we do is not hard. We talk to people, we're posting on social media, we're making polls on Instagram. It's fun stuff. What we do is fun stuff, but it is such a mental business where you have to make sure that you're fueling your brain in some sort of way, whether it's for five minutes a day, whether it's for an hour a day while you're still working. Um, elsewise, like it's just, it's just so important. I talk about that all the time. It's just so important because I, I, I truly believe that's what took me from showing up at conference in 2018 as a Ruby, but I lost my rank and I was sitting there as a diamond with a little to no BV to this year. I sat at conference as a brand new Emerald and now I'm a diamond. Like it just, it's crazy how much you can grow in a year. So I feel like I was just all over the place, but <laughs> that is the things that I do every day. Those like reaching out to people, sharing your, I wrote, sharing your story. Um, if you go to my social media, you will know Jill. I am me. I share me. I share my, my hot mess moments and I share the moments where I am all dolled up and look great. I, I just share who I am, um, through my stories, through my posts, through everything. And that, where people get to connect with you and that's where people get to understand like you are you you are human and yes you have a business um, and yes you are helping other people but they want to get to know like and trust you so share you that's my that, if that's I think that's my biggest tip today too is just sharing you um, because then they get to know you and, and be able to make that connection with you instead of um, knowing you as a business owner knowing you as you so yeah <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All of that. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Jill. Um, I'm going to have Shannon go next, and then we have two other people going. Um, so Shannon is new. Um, you started the like very end of January, right? Like last January 31st. Day. Yeah, last day of January. Okay. How many customers have you signed since January 31st? 17. 17. Okay, so let us know how are you signing all the people? So <laughs> how am I signing all the people? Um, the beginning of this month, we decided we were going to do this $150 gift card, which is the bombest idea. So we have a way in to people to ask everyone that you've ever met, that you've ever known, that you've ever encountered anywhere and say, if you want a chance to win a $150 gift card, all you have to do is do an easy post on your wall. So I decided, I think it was the sixth, it was the first Saturday of the month. I was like, I'm just going to hop all day long. going to host a post to everybody that I ever met in my whole life. 
So I ended up having like six going at once and I really felt like I was working for the first time. Like I was trying to monitor all of them and keep up with all the people that were commenting. And just so far this month, I signed eight people um, as well customers. And the keys, besides obviously having the people do the haps for you, is upselling. So I do, I always do the, um, the weight loss one, lose 10 to 30 pounds by summer, whatever. Um, uh, I can send you, I'll put it in the chat when I'm done talking, I'll go look it up, um, the exact message that I send and, or the, that I have them do, that I have them post. So when they, when they respond in the comments, I message them and I say in my first message, here's all this information about uh, Thermal Fight X. Do you want to try it? And usually they'll say yes, or usually they'll say how much money. Um, and it depends on what their answer is, how I respond, but I'll usually immediately ask them how much weight they want to lose. Um, so I'm already engaging and I already have a number that they're giving me straight up so that later when I follow up with them, which is my third point of how to get people to sign is I know what they want already. I know they have, they want to lose 20 pounds or they want to lose 50 pounds or they want to lose 75 pounds or whatever. They told me that number. So I always come back to whatever their goal is. So, so they say, yes, I want to try it, whatever. Immediately say, that's a great goal, 20 pounds, whatever. It doesn't matter the number that they give me. Um, I always recommend the cleanse and the fat fighters as my own little triple threat package. Um, it's just under $100, which I feel like is a safe price point. It's 97 for the TFX, the fat fighters, and the cleanse. And if they say that's too much, I always go with just fat fighters and TFX, which was the original product that they were interested in. And it brings it down to $61, which kind of cuts it in half a little bit. Um, and then from there, they say, okay, let's do it. And it will never not surprise me when they literally just send me their credit card information. Baffles me every time that people are trusting and willing to do that. Um, but if they don't respond or they disappear for a little while, I'll figure out another way to get in their inbox. So the following up part comes into play as like the third most important piece of getting people to stay with you. Um, I messaged probably like 75 people yesterday and just said, happy Easter. This was like the most beautiful holiday at the end of the month kind of way to get in people's inbox. Um, no, nothing to do with the business, nothing TFX related, it works related at all. Just a way for them to open that message again and see that we had already talked. Hey, this was the girl that I talked to about losing all this weight with. And then some of them really did respond like, oh, I'm not ignoring you or, oh, um, I just haven't had a chance to figure out my next paycheck or whatever. Everyone for the most part, brought it back up again, which was really interesting, but that wasn't the goal. So figuring out a way to just chat with them and make friends, which I was in denial at first that I was a blue, but the fact that I get to talk to people is really my favorite part of this. So I'll just be like, oh, well, how do you know host to post whoever posted it? Um, and you just get to know the people a little bit better, um, even just by making small talk. And that was my last, final tip is to not be afraid to make friends because they're also on the internet. They also probably don't know you in real life. These people are responding to the host of posts. And if they don't respond, they don't respond. I've never had anyone like be rude to me and say like, this is so stupid. What are you doing? They're usually either respectfully declining or they just disappear if they're really not interested. Otherwise they'll keep engaging with you and you'll make a new friend. Two things. One, the script that you use, could you put it in the team page? And then we'll have it. Um, and number two, you make some pretty amazing pull posts. So oh, thanks. <laughs> could you just talk a little bit on like, because you're new, so you don't have a story like me, right? So you don't have like a story where you could be like, I've been in this for this many years and this is what I've done, but you still have pull posts that make me want to join you. So when you're thinking of like, and so pull posts, if you're not understanding what I'm trying to say is like the, but the business side, right? So like about the business, about like your future and goals and things like that. So where, like when you're, I don't know, I don't know what the question I'm trying to ask, like when you're trying to make them, like, what are you thinking about so that you know what to, what to do? I, it's a mindset thing. So I'm constantly looking for inspiration. Um, 
I don't know if anybody is a Broadway fan. I was listening to Ben Platt's new album today. And I specifically was listening for lyrics, like something that I could put in a post that was like real inspirational and uplifting that I could bring back to like, I'm making new friends and I have so much opportunity and there's so much ahead of me and just something to get people excited. Um, I always try to find something relatable from my daily life. Um, and another really awesome, and everyone that I've been watching is doing this and giving me this idea, but not referencing it works at all. And also not referencing any product by name. So like I post about skinny mocha and I post about fat burning coffee and I post about things that are, that people will want to ask about. Um, and that's also helping to, to like drum up excitement, I think from my post, but the inspiration thing, some days I really don't have anything to say and I'll just Google like inspirational quotes and I'll find something that I can, that just sparks a flurry of words. My posts are really long. So it's really nice that you said that. <laughs> Exciting to read. I always feel like I'm way too wordy. Well, I like that you, you create a story, even though you don't necessarily have like an it works story. And that's, I think what people are most afraid to post about is they're like, I don't have a story yet, but you do because you start, you had a life before it works. First of all, you already had a story up until now <laughs> and you had a reason why you joined and then you have goals that you're going after. So it's like you had your past, like you have your present and then you have your future. And that's a great setup for a pull post. Um, and Shannon is so consistent about her posts. So she does them like every day. I really didn't want to do one today either. And I, it got to like five o'clock. Normally I do them first thing in the morning while I'm drinking skinny coffee mm -hmm. and it makes it easier to like be in the moment. I also listened to Ed Milet podcast and Jill was saying when I first logged on, cause I was late, but she was saying that um, build, building yourself and investing in yourself is really important. And Ed is like the best podcast that I've ever listened to. So I'll, I'll pull something. If I listen to him first thing in the morning, it's really easy to come up with something that everyone can relate to. Agreed. I usually make my poll post out right after I've done self-development because you're just like thinking of all the, all the stuff. I waited till the end of the day today. I should not have <laughs> done it well, earlier. You know, I make a lot of my poll posts in the evening because people are at work and I know that they're going to read them in the evening. I don't know. Maybe it's just my... That's a good idea. No, that's really good. I should really be doing more than one a day about the business, not just... Yeah, you do whatever you want. Consistency and persistency, I guess. <laughs> Eventually. Thank you. Thanks for having me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, I am going to ask Mashela. Did I say that right? Hold on. I have to. Do, can you unmute yourself? Do I have to unmute you? Where are you at? There you are. Unmute. Does that work? <gasps> Hi. Can you hear me? Yeah. Hi. So, yes, you did say my name right. Yeah. I asked her. I was like, "Can you can you like phonetically spell out your name so I pronounce it right?" <laughs> can you I want you to tell a little bit about your story because you were in this before and then yeah. came back and now you're just like killing it so yeah. will you like kind of have that perspective and will you also tell us like your tips of like how you're signing all the people up yeah um so I started I guess it's been, I don't know, I think it's been like five years since I did it before. Um, but I had signed up before with a friend of mine when she started doing it. And I kind of took the, I guess I didn't, I really didn't take it very seriously when I did it before. I wanted the money aspect of it. Like I knew that the money was there if I went for it. But I think I just didn't really, I didn't think it would be the work that I would have to put into it. So, honey, not right now. Um, of course, now that now she wants to play. <laughs> um, so I just thought that it would kind of fall in my lap, I guess, if I just put a few posts out there and maybe messaged a couple of people here and there. And just when it didn't, I just kind of gave up on it. Um, so this time around, there were some different circumstances that came up in where I really needed a change in our lives. I really needed to bring in some extra income. I didn't really have the ability to take on a regular job because my daughter has some health issues. So um, she can't really be in daycare or she can't even really stay with a sitter. Um, so I have to be pretty much available to her at all times because of her health. So I needed some way to be able to do it from home. And the it works just kept popping up in my head. One, because I kept seeing Courtney post and I kept seeing uh, Megan post, but also just because I knew before I had made money with it but I didn't make very much. But then again, 
that was because I didn't really work very hard for it either. So um, I talked to my husband a little bit about it too and thought, and he, of course he, as usual, he's just like, well, if you want to do it, go ahead and try it. And then I saw that they were doing it for $20 instead of the 99 when I had done it before. So I, and I even told Courtney this, and now I feel bad after we talked that first time. I says, well, I guess I'll give it a try. I said, I guess if it doesn't work, then it, I guess I didn't lose that much out on it. So now um, that I had that different fire of really needing this to work, really needing that extra income, um, it made me try a little bit harder. And then once I saw that by actually working, that I could make more money with it and I could actually make it grow as much as I wanted to. The real, the first real aha, aha moment with, for me was actually just a few weeks ago when we got paid and I went and bought groceries and my, it works uh, commission check paid for all of my groceries and then some. And that was the first time that I'd actually made enough that it could do that. And I didn't even, I wasn't even watching what I was buying. And that's not something I ever do. I'm usually, I have a whole list and I've budgeted it out and I've only bought the things that are on sale and we have three kids and they eat a lot. <laughs> so for me to be able to go and buy groceries and not have to worry about what I bought and then the kids throwing in extra things and not having to stress about that, that was the first time I realized that I could really make something of that. And it wasn't even that large of a grocery bill, but it was just enough to make it real. Um, and I think that really is what was a turning point for me is to know that this is real and I can really make it as much or as little as I wanted. And in that case, that's what happened with the first time is I just didn't really put much into it. So it didn't grow. Um, the biggest thing for keeping up with what everybody else is doing and making a point to um, check in on the group page often. Natalie, sit down, please. You're going to get hurt. Um, checking in on the group page often because if I don't feel like I'm connected, I very easily get sidetracked and kind of will not work quite as hard that day as if the day that I had checked it first thing in the morning. Um, and it gives me ideas of different things to try out too. Honey, easy. <laughs> So one of the other things that I do every single day to make a point to is adding new people to my um, network. I didn't really have a lot of people on my Facebook before I started. I probably had maybe a hundred friends total. Um, and so now obviously if you don't keep adding new people, then you're not going to have new people to talk to. The other thing I do as well is as soon as someone has friended me back, either on Instagram or Facebook, um, I immediately go onto their profile and will go through a couple of their most recent posts and either like or comment on them to start building that relationship right from the get-go. I don't ever message people right off um, because I don't want to come off as that cold messaging because then people aren't even going to bother to read any of your posts or any of your comments from there because they're going to assume that's the only reason you're contacting them. So the big thing for me would definitely try to create relationships with people um, and make them, and like Jill said too, making them feel like you're important to them too. Um, other than that, a lot of it is just what we're taught anyways in trainings, which is like the, yes, in just a minute. Um, Natalie, babe, leave it there, please. Crazy girl. So uh, keeping up with, posting uh, consistently. Um, you just fell off the couch. Be careful. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so, and then just being genuine with, with a lot of my posts. Um, a lot of my posts that you'll see have either my kids or my horse or occasionally me, not very often, but occasionally me, uh, places that I go. And then just working it into my posts because that's what my life is about. Um, and I'm trying to show people that I'm more than just an It Works distributor. That is definitely a big part of my life. And I very much uh, talk about my products, especially when I'm going out, talking to family. We just had Easter Sunday. We had the whole family get together. And I literally had the whole family surrounded around the table and was giving them samples of products for them to try to get their feedback so they could tell me what they thought. 
Um, so, and that was the first time that I've actually done that because usually I kind of shy away from telling my family about it. Just, it's not an embarrassment, but just because I don't really, I get nervous of what they're going to think. Um, for me, it's definitely a lot easier with my personality to talk to people I don't know through Facebook or Instagram than it is to talk to someone in person that I know really well. Um, but those would be really the biggest things is just the consistency and posting and just being genuine about what I'm doing. Keeping it simple, doing the same things over and over and over again, growing yeah. the network, talking to people. Simple. <laughs> love yeah. it. Thank you. I appreciate everything you just said. I love that you like kind of gave it a second chance, realized like got to put the work in now and then just ran with it. So yeah. And it really made all the difference. And, and really, I know we talk about it on the page all the time, but if you don't, keep up with the trainings and you don't listen to the videos and you don't go on the group um, meetings and things like that, it's easy to, to sway away from it because you don't have that fire that's constantly being stoked all the time. 100%. Jill and I were actually on the Zoom earlier just talking and that's something that we talked about. Isn't that what we talked about earlier? I was talking about someone, about feeling like you're on an island sometimes when you're kind of, because this business is very lonely, you're by yourself, we're by ourselves behind a screen. Um, and so it's nice to be able to kind of come together in like a community and just see like we're all in this together and we're not alone, even though we don't see each other in person every day. Um, so, and even like I, I, I have, re I've reached out to like people just to kind of chat like, Hey, I, I don't even know them, you know, I see you on this other team and you're running and I just want someone to, to chat with or run with or whatever. And so, you know, feel free to do that kind of a stuff too. But thank you so much. Yeah, I totally just muted myself. Okay, hold on. <laughs> oh, my word. Okay. Last but not least is what I said before I muted myself. Um, Aaliyah, uh, I'll un unmute you here. Did I unmute you? No. Yes. 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 Okay, cool. Yes. Hi. Okay, so Aaliyah's going to go last. She, she started in November. She was also a $20 kit. So some of these girls are $20 kits and they're still running like the wind y'all. So, um, regardless of if you're, you know, which one you are, you can still run, but I want you to talk a little bit about like why you started obviously like kind of the beginning, but then what kind of like changed things for you and where your mindset's at now and what you've done, the work that you've done to, to create the momentum and how many distributors that you've signed. Cause I don't even know how many distributors you've signed this year. Like I lost count. Okay. Yeah. So I started in, I started in November and actually my mom started in October and really the only reason why I joined was to shut her up because she kept talking about how I should join. So I finally joined. I kept telling her I didn't have time. I didn't have time. I work full time. I have a one and a half year old and she's like, okay, whatever. And so I was like, how about I'll join like over the holidays when I have more time. And she's like, okay. She kept saying, you know, you should really do this. You should really do this. And secretly, I already started adding to my social media because I'm, I'm a very red person. So I kind of wanted to have a head start on it <laughs> secretly. <laughs> so I started adding people. And within actually like maybe a week, I had already added probably 200 people. And... So I joined and I really had no idea what I was doing at all. And really at that time I did join just to shut her up because she kept saying it and, and I was like, okay, whatever. So I joined, I had tried some products and I really loved them. They really worked for me. So I knew that the products actually worked. So that was a good thing going into it. Um, and then I started going with it. I started posting, but I think I started posting like the green and white and, you know, how you're not supposed to post. And so then I kind of got a hold of that and was like, wait a minute, you're not supposed to do this. And I figured it out and started posting like how we all should be posting. And I started to see the potential in it my mom kept saying there's a girl that's 20 years old she makes over twenty thousand dollars a month and me being a 
person I am. I'm like, if she can do it, I can do it. And if she's doing it, I'm going to do it because I can. That's just me. So I, at that point, I was determined that I'm going, I'm going to be making $20,000 a month. There was no question to it because she's a normal, normal girl like I am. So there's really no reason why I can't do it. So in January, I wrote this down or not January, November. Let me see. November, I signed one distributor. I didn't write down the customers. I signed one distributor and she's still going. She's still going with me. We're still going strong. <laughs> in November, December, I signed one. And then I think I kind of got a kick in the butt and I was like, okay, let's go. In January, I signed four. In February, here's the thing. The end of January, beginning of January, I told myself this was the year that I was going to change. I was going to make a change. I was going to go all in with this because I knew I saw the potential and I was not making excuses, mostly for this little guy that's sleeping down here because I knew that this business had the, all the potential in the world. So I saw that early on in being, I'm only 20 years old. I got a hold of this at such a young age and not many people have that opportunity. So anyways, January, I, this was my year. So I signed four in January and then they went to conference and I listened in on conference and I was so excited and I was at work. I still work a nine to five job, actually eight to four thirty, but you know what I mean. And in February, he said, you know, we have the $20 coats. As soon as he said that, I looked at my mom and I said, I'm using all of mine. I'm using all of mine and I'm using all of yours. And I said, let's go. That day, I think I signed two distributors. The day he said that, I went back to my, I already had a list of people that I was going to go back and message. I went back and I signed a few. Well, a few turned into a few more and a few more turned into a few more. And in February, the shortest month of the year, I signed 17 distributors. 17. Ask me how. I really couldn't tell you. I, but I can tell you because I did not give up. I was so determined and I was not stopping before this business. I literally went to bed at eight o'clock. I'm not even kidding. You can ask my mom. She made fun of me for it. I went to bed at eight o'clock, eight 30 and I slept from eight 30. I mean, I got up at like six o'clock, six o'clock in the morning, but I literally went to bed at eight 30. So in February, I stopped going to bed at 8.30 and I started staying up to like midnight. I did whatever I had to do to make this take off. I set my goals in January and I set them high. And in February, it just, it absolutely took off. It took off. I mean, I just, it was still mind blowing to me. I still worked my nine to five. I still came home. I still played with Breaker. I still did normal things that I had to do. And I signed 17 people and, and customers. I signed customers in there too. It changed for me. Once I saw the potential, everything changed. Once you see the potential and once you believe in yourself, that's when everything will change for you. You are the only person holding yourself back. And trust me, you hold yourself back sometimes. I hold myself back sometimes. And I'm like, wait a minute, snap out of it. You don't have time to hold yourself back. So have you, in March, I signed four. In April, so far, has been two. And in March, pretty sure I started making excuses. That's why I went down. And then because you know i i don't know i lost my groove and then i was like i need to get back into this there there's no no stopping actually i think it was like a week ago last week 
Rector's getting older, so he understands, you know, like, I go to work. Well, he is talking, so he starts saying, where's mommy going? Where's mommy going? And that sucks. You know, that that's horrible. I mean, <laughs> I know everybody does that, but that just is heartbreaking to me. So that's when I decided that this, this is what I'm going to do and that I'm going to do everything I have to do <laughs> to make it happen without any excuses at all. So with that being said, I, you know, I, for a while, I believed I didn't have to listen to videos and I didn't need to do self-development, whatever, whatever. And then it all caught up with me. And I think that's why I fell apart in March a little bit because that's when I had to start doing all that. I had to, you know, spend time focusing on what's falling asleep, focusing on myself, you know, your, your mindset is what changes everything. And once you decide that you're going to do it, you're going to do it and you're going to do everything to make it happen. Um, what else did I have on here? Can you, talk about, how many, can you huh? talk about how many people that you've added on your network? Yes, I was just going to do that. <laughs> okay, so when I started, I had, before I started, I think I had like 500, and then I secretly started adding people. So I think I started with like 700. I now have 2,700 people, 2,700 people on my Facebook, and I've added them all within five months constantly adding I literally go through my suggested friends they're popped up they're right there there's no excuses like they're right in front of my face you just hit add or you click on them and you look you look at their profile real quick and you know you can I I go to their photos and I see if they're I see if they're already with another company if they're not then I add them and I don't message them right away I let them watch for a little while but what I do do is, okay, so adding people is huge. You want to constantly be adding people to your social media because then you can never run out of people to talk to and you can never run out of potential because you're always having some. Some will delete you, some will block you, some will not like you, whatever. They can get rid of themselves and you quickly get over that. Okay, so um, what else do I have? Oh, I... I just started sending voice memos and I literally tell myself like just send the voice memo because if they want to hear what you have to say they have to open the voice memo they can't just read it and not respond and people automatically are like they want to know what you what you have to say because partly they want to know what your voice sounds like and they want to they kind of want you to make a fool out of yourselves so they're going to listen to it and then they're going to realize oh hey she's actually a really nice person and she actually knows what she's talking about and I just heard her say it, so she's really serious about this. And you can you can make them feel how you feel by what you're saying. So the voice memos have been huge this month. Upselling, I don't think I've sold a regular, just regular. Before this, I was selling one product at a time. You know, get your thermal FedEx, whatever, whatever. It was, I don't know why it didn't click in my head. So now with the host to post. When I have people do host to post and I message them, I, you know, people comment on them, whatever. And then I, I message them and it starts out with Thermo FedEx. And then I say, you know, we have that mocha dream. So use it. It's a one-time offer. So make it sound like, you know, you're not going to get it ever again. Cause they're really not. I mean, so you say, <laughs> you're shaking your head. So you say, okay, you want Thermo FedEx, but if for eat, and then I say, are you a coffee drinker? They say, oh yeah, I love coffee. I drink it all every single day. And you're like, okay, well, there's a really awesome deal on the coffee and chocolate greens and the chocolate greens are going to help detox your body and keep, balance it out. And they're like, oh, okay, I need that. Yeah. Okay. I'll do the one-time offer. And I say, yeah, it's actually 60% off and it, you know, one-time deal. It's not going to happen again. And they're like, okay. Yeah. So add it to the cart. 
okay, so I just sold thermal FedEx coffee and greens in one sale. And sometimes they'll say, oh, is there anything else you suggest? Well, yeah, you can start with the cleanse while you wait for your other, while you wait for your thermal, thermal FedEx to ship. And they're like, okay. And they throw it in. And you're like, oh, okay. And that's it. I mean, they will literally pay for it. They, and I was asking people what their budget was. And then I saw a video today. She said, stop asking people what their budget is because it doesn't matter. People will spend a ridiculous amount of money on the stupidest things. So why they wouldn't spend stuff on, spend money on stuff that will help them if they really want, you know, if they really want to help themselves, they're going to spend the money. So that was a big thing. So upsell, you can, and you can always downsell, you know, if you say, okay, that's going to be $85. And they're like, oh, okay, that's too much. Then 60 doesn't sound bad. Then once you preach 85, they're going to pay the 60 for whatever, you know, because 60 sounds better than 85 if they're too, you know, 85 is too much. So yes, our job is to help them. You want to help them. They want, they want to know your, your suggest, suggestions. They'll say, well, what do you suggest? And I'll say, I suggest if you're a coffee drinker, you get the coffee, the greens, and the thermo FedEx. They say, well, I'm not a coffee drinker. Okay, then get the cleanse, the fat fighter, and the thermo FedEx. You can cleanse your body while you wait for your thermo FedEx to ship. And they say, oh, okay, sounds good. And I'm like, okay. Sold. So it's like a little auction. You auction it off. So you always want to have goals and you never lose sight of your goals. If you never lose sight of your goals and you're always turning, there's always going to be negative people. And that's just something you have to face and you have to get over it because ultimately they don't pay your bills. They don't matter. It doesn't matter. They're, they're going to be negative because they have something going on in their life. It's not about you. They just, people don't know what this is. And I had somebody, one of my family members the other day was like, it's just weird. It's just weird that, and I said, yeah, it's weird. And that's why people think it makes them feel uncomfortable. And people don't like feeling uncomfortable. I mean, but it's a real thing. We know it's a real thing because we get paid from it. And I just said, I'm not going to waste my time. I'm trying to preach it to somebody who's never going to understand it. So if you're not going to understand it and you don't want to take the time to understand it, then bye, go work your nine to five and have fun, which I mean, people do that, whatever. Another thing is I was watching this video here. I say video. I literally never watched videos, but I just started watching videos and they're actually really helpful. Actually, Brandon sent it to me and bless his heart because I, I don't know why I just always listen to stuff that he sends me because it's always interesting. So he sent it to me and he said, watch this. He said, it'll relate to your business. And so I watched it and it changed everything. It literally made you, me rethink everything. And one of the things that he said in there is that, one of the things that he said in there is that, yes, I'll post it in the team page. It's kind of old fashioned, but it's, totally worth it. He said, we don't value things as much when they're free. He said, we value things that we pay for. If, oh, <laughs> if we, if we pay a hundred dollars for a TV, we're going to, you know, we're going to make sure that TV is nice. Oh, my battery's dying. My battery's dying, but we're going to make sure that we keep that TV nice. We're going to plant it on the wall and we're going to make sure nobody touches it. Okay. But we're born with these things that we can use. We have hands, we have a brain, we have a soul, we have a heart, we have dreams. Those are free. Why not take advantage of those? Why not value those as much as you value your TV that you spent a hundred dollars on that? If it broke, you could go spend a hundred dollars and replace it. You can't replace your mind. You can't replace your dreams. You can't, that stuff is not replaceable. And you take full advantage of it and not have to pay a dime. You don't have to pay anything for it. It's free. So why not take advantage of it? That's, I mean, it's true. And then another thing he said was, 
people always say that other people are lucky like oh that person is always getting lucky and they're always winning or they're always i don't know getting raised or whatever it's not that they're lucky it's that they know where they're going they know what they're doing they have a goal they're not stopping till they get there they they're doing whatever they have to do to get there and you're not you're watching them so if you don't have goals then you're not going to get very far because you don't know where you're going. I could wake up and be like, uh, well, maybe, maybe I'll drive to work at like eight o'clock. No, I wake up. I know I have to be there at eight o'clock. So I get up, I get ready for work and I go, I leave at seven forty-five so I can get there at eight o'clock every single morning. So with this business, why not wake up post? If you go to work, like I do go to work, do your job and come back and treat this like it's another job, right? You have to show up. You have to show up to your job. You have to do your job. You do your job and you go home. If you're gonna sit at your desk, you're gonna do your job. So why not sit here? Yeah, I know everybody's on their phone anyways. I know you go scroll through social media and you watch videos and you laugh at people and you, I mean, not you know what I mean? Laugh at videos, you like people's photos, you create people. So why not get paid to do that? Why not tell people your life story? Why not entertain people with your, why not go live? And why not set yourself up for people to, you know, for people to understand you? I went live for the first time by myself the other day pretty sure my face turned red and my palms were sweaty and I was sitting in a church parking lot like what I was sitting in a church parking lot in my car the most random place but I was so determined to go live by myself that I didn't care where I was and I didn't care what I was doing I just had to do it and I had to do it and I had to get it done so I went and did it and I got it done and actually it wasn't bad. <laughs> I was worried for no reason. I did it and I got it done. Another thing is if you have a piece of paper on the top of your pile and you look at it and you're like, oh, I don't want to do that. And you put it on the bottom of your pile what's going to happen when you get to the bottom it's still going to be there it's not going to disappear sorry it's still going to be there so why not take care of it right now you can put this business off you can tell yourself you're going to post later but why not do it right now and get it done and then you won't even have to think about it for the rest i mean you'll you'll post more but you'll know that you posted in the morning sometimes when i'm running late to work and i'm trying to hurry up and get to work and trying to get in there on time and you know trying to think of a post I literally lately I've been waking up so late I'm in the car and I'm trying to get to work and I'm thinking in my head what can I post okay I'm gonna post about my coffee I get to work I post it really fast without taking a second thought to it because I don't have time for a second thought and I post it and I go into work so that gives people you know time to see it whatever i literally i take my phone to the bathroom with me people think it people probably think i have issues i go to the bathroom like maybe 20 times during the day just so i can post and message people i just do still breastfeed so i pump too so i spend that time to reach out to people and follow up with people but i still go to the bathroom 20 times because at the end of the day, I'm going to do what I have to do to make this business work for me because that's not where I want to be. I don't want to be at my nine to five every single day. No offense to those people, but I'd rather be at home. I'd rather be at home with my kids, my kid. I'd rather be at home. You know, this there's this opportunity right in front of me to make literally, if, if you wanted to make million, millions of dollars, you can. If I go to my nine to five, are they going to say, hey, Aliyah, if you work here for 20 years, we're going to give you a million dollars? No, they're not. They're still going to be paying me what they're paying me now. 
in 10 years and then 20 years I'm going to retire and I'm still probably going to have no money because they pay is not, you know, so fantastic that I'm going to stay there forever. No, sorry. And I'm sitting there building up their business trying it, that's crashing. Actually, I'm sitting there trying to build their business up. Why am I not putting in that effort to my own? This is our, our business. It's your own. Nobody can take it from you. Nobody can take your name off that website. That's yours. And what, and what other business maintains everything for us, doesn't make us keep inventory and ships everything out. Deal, they pretty much deal with the, they deal with the backlash. The customers call them. They don't really call us. I mean, I did have one that's kind of crazy, but she's gone now. So that's, <laughs> that's another story. And those type of people, you kill them with kindness and they can never say that you said a bad thing to them they can't say that you were mean to them because you never were mean to them. You were nice to them. So they can't say they had a bad service and if they did, they were lying. So if you always, if you wake up in the morning and you're so, if you wake up and you're like, I'm gonna have a horrible day and I'm not gonna get anything done and I'm just gonna sit here and not do anything and I don't hate, and I hate my life. I mean, you're gonna have a bad day. That's like common sense. You're going to have a bad day if you wake up and tell yourself you're going to have a bad day. If you wake up and tell yourself, I'm going to have a great day, I'm going to sign 50 customers and I'm going to sign 20 distributors and, and I'm going to go live 12 times. Okay, you're probably going to go live once. You might sign a customer or two and you're probably going to sign a distributor. It wasn't 20 or 50 or whatever, but you did something. You set goals high and you achieved something in that you woke up and you had a plan for the day you make it happen you make it happen for the we all joined for a reason whether it was to be a kidnapper or to actually make something of this you joined for a reason so why not use that whether you join for fifty dollars a hundred dollars for a vacation a year to be a millionaire <laughs> kidnappers i think i had a few kidnappers let's be real here those are real real things real people but those are fine because they had a look at the inside they had a look at the inside and what we really do and they had this opportunity and they didn't take advantage of it and that's fine but they're still always going to be thinking in their head well what if i would have just done it well well no girl you held yourself back so that's on you. You have to live with that for the rest of your life. And yes, and they'll come back. I still have people that I sign and come back and say, you're still doing this? Yeah, I'm still doing it. And I'm going to be doing it until I'm like on my deathbed. I'm not going anywhere. Sorry. I'm still going to be here. And those people that you talk to at our potentials, they're going to know that they're going to come back. <laughs> You're still going to be there. You're still going to be doing it. You're still going to be posting every single day. So they'll come back and they'll come back to you because you're posting every single day and you're, you know, showing them that raw emotion and telling them why you joined and you're touching, pulling on heartstrings and whatever. I mean, I'm a young, young mom. I have a one and a half year old. I had no idea. Like, Oh, he just woke up. I had no idea what I was doing. I swear I knew what I was doing. I had no idea, like, it, you just, you have no idea what is gonna happen in life and you just make it happen, you make it work and you figure things out. I could go on for hours and days and <laughs> But I won't. Hashtag no excuses, basically. Yeah, is no excuses. The conclusion of Leah's portion. No, I think I like laughed we... and cried and was like serious at all points during your <laughs> during that. When we started this, I stuck him in his crib with a bunch of toys and his iPad, and he was like jumping <laughs> up and down. I mean, but no excuses. So here we are. Yeah.
I told Leah she was going last and she's like, I don't know if Riker's going to make it. And then I was like, okay. And she's like, it's fine. And we'll just make it happen. I'm like, okay. <laughs> Her attitude is like this all the time though. And that is why she, you know, everyone that's spoken tonight, their attitude is always like this. That's, it's, they've just put themselves in that situation. And I am someone that like, I, I didn't have that attitude when I started. Like, I'm just telling you, I didn't like, I, a little bit maybe like I, you know, I, I, put the faith in it, but I still cared. And I, you know, all that stuff, we all, we all feel the same emotions. Like you think that I'm, I'm the only one that cares what other people think, or I'm the only one that posts and no one reacts to it, or I'm the only one that reaches out and like people ignore me or I get a ton of no's and you think you're the only one, but you're not the only one. We all have the same things going on. We all have tons of obstacles that we could use as excuses, health issues. Um, gosh, all kinds of just all kinds of stuff, working multiple jobs, multiple kids, all kinds of stuff going on. I promise you, whatever is going on, I could probably find someone that has had the exact same thing happen to them and they're still doing it. So um, you just kind of have to make the decision and I'll, I'll end on this. I heard this, um, Shannon Knox said this and it just always stuck with me. And she said, you know, if, if you put quitting on the table or excuses on the table, then you're never going to be successful with this ever. If you think to yourself, well, I have this going on. I'm going to give myself this excuse. I'll start next week. I'll start next month. Or if it doesn't, I'll give it a few months. If it doesn't work out, then it doesn't work out. You're, you're, you're just setting yourself up for failure. But if you just make that decision, like, I know that I have this, 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 and this going on. And I know that can be an obstacle for me. Let me figure out how can I make this work, even though I have all this chaos going on. If you can sit down and like, figure out when do I have a few minutes here, a few minutes there, because that's literally how I have to work during my day um, with, you know, being home with Gavin all day. Like you just have to make it work and different seasons come into your life. Right. In the beginning, I said to myself, well, I'm, I'm driving all the time, all the time. How am I supposed to make this work? I'm driving all the time. And I just figured it out. And now it's okay. Now I'm home by myself with a baby. How do I make this work? And it's different seasons, but they're always going to have obstacles. It's never going to get easier. You're always going to have obstacles, but is, is the freedom worth it? That's what you kind of have to figure out. For most people, you want the freedom. You want the freedom to either quit your job or the freedom to be able to have like freedom of finances or maybe uh, retirement or whatever it is. Um, for some, it's something that you want, right? And so you have to figure out which one's harder. Is it harder to put the work in now and build what you want? Or is it harder to go throughout your day in the same spot that you're in, not happy with the same spot that you're in? So choose which one's harder. Um, for most of us, it's, it's harder to just stay where we are, knowing that we're not going to have a change if we just stay where we're at. And so the, the easier of the harder <laughs> is staying in the fire and staying on Zooms like this and seeing that we all have things going on, even if they're not all the same. Um, and we're all just trying to figure this out together and make it work. So anyway, I hope this was helpful. Thanks everyone that chatted. Thanks for Whitney for being up so late in Germany. <laughs> Thanks for everyone for being on. Um, and yeah, we're all in this together y'all. So thank you and have a good night. Go get to work. Bye. <laughs>